want to speedrun a hat in time but don't know how to start or get set up? Well, you've come to the right place. This is going to be a more comprehensible and complete guide for setting up a hat in time for speedruns. Please note that while everything done in the setup is highly recommended, none of it is required except for a few in-game settings I'll show. Timestamps will also be available to help you navigate the video as well as links in case you're having trouble finding any of the resources used in this video. So to start, the first thing you'll want to do is to downgrade your game to the fastest version for whichever category you want to run. You can do this easily by right clicking a hat in time in your Steam library, clicking on properties, and then navigating to the betas tab. Here is where you can download most relevant versions of the game. For any percent and every all timepieces category, you'll want to pick DLC2 underscore May 11. So just click that and Steam will begin to download that version of the game. Once it's done, you'll want to launch the game, as you'll need to have a few settings checked for your runs to be leaderboard valid. First off, you'll need both in-game timers enabled, which you can do in-game settings, it's near the very top. You'll also want to enable the auto-skip skippable cutscenes option, as it's very useful for runs. You'll also want to make sure that your FPS is capped at 60. So those are all the essential settings that are required, well, except for skip skippable cutscenes, but you're going to want to have that on. However, I am going to show a few more that just make the game better to play. So the first of these settings you want to turn off is camera assist, which moves your camera for you, and camera shake, which is just annoying. Next you want to turn off hold backwards to cancel diving and input settings. Lastly, you'll want to turn off Predictive Trace Camera, as this setting is what causes the camera to zoom really close into Hat Kid's head when you're like near certain walls. It's just a very annoying setting that's really hidden in menus, you'll definitely want it off. That's pretty much it for settings, now it's time to move on to the Run Essentials. So the Run Essentials, being Hat Lag and Timer Fix, can either be found on the Boop Coop Discord's Resources channel, or on the resources page of a hat in time speedrun.com page. So once you have them downloaded, we'll need to install them. Let's begin with timer fix. To do this, we need to get into our game files. However, this is very simple. We just right click hat in time in our Steam libraries once again, navigate to the local files tab, and then click browse local files. Once you're there, you're going to want to open up your speedrun utility zip or your timer fix zip, either one. And then on your hat and time folder, you're going to want to navigate into hat and time game and then into the cooked PC folder. So then back into the timer fix zip, you're going to want to drag all the files in the 2.1 or above folder, since this is 2.1, into the cooked PC folder and then just run the apply.bat and then you let it do its thing and that's it, you should have timer fix. You can test this in game by just starting a new file and seeing if your timer starts at 4 seconds instead of 5. If it starts at 4 you'll know you have timer fix installed. As for hat lag, it's pretty self explanatory to use. You can just drag it out of the zip anywhere you'd like and then double click it to open it and then it'll just wait for the game to open. Once in game, you can check if this works by just pressing R or right shift. If you want to set this up on controller, it's pretty easy. You can just use Steam's built in controller functionality by going to Steam settings under controller and then turning on configurability for whatever controller type you're using in the general controller settings. Once that's done, you can just right click your hat in your Steam library, go to manage, and then click controller configuration. And here in this window, you can pretty much set the button right shift on controllers to whatever you want. But you do have to make sure it's right shift or the lag won't work properly on controller. 
I do want to mention that there is an alternative to this if you don't want to use this functionality. Many runners already use a program called Anti-Micro, which basically does the same thing that this accomplishes, and it is allowed, so if you don't want to do this, you can use Anti-Micro instead. So at this point, you're pretty much ready to run, and can stop here if you want, as everything from here on out won't affect anything to do with actually playing the game. However, I am going to show a few more things that you'll probably want to do just to make life a bit easier. So first I'm going to show how to manage and launch multiple versions of the game without having to rename a bunch of stuff every time you want to do so. If you just downgraded from current patch for example, but still want to have access to that patch, you want to navigate to your steam app slash common folder, which you can get to pretty easily from the browse local files button we used earlier. Then you're just going to want to rename your hat and time folder to literally anything else, since Steam will only launch from whatever is named hat and time. Then you'll want to go to your betas tab and opt out and current patch will begin re-downloading. Once you have both of your versions downloaded, you can make a new text document called Steam underscore app ID, and then all you'll want to do is to enter these numbers shown on screen into the document and then save it. Once done, you'll want to copy this file into the binary slash win64 folder of both of your hat versions, the path to that being shown on screen now. After that, you'll just be able to make shortcuts at the executable wherever you want and it'll launch that version of the game. The last thing I'll cover is how to set up the auto splitter and sync live split to the in-game timer. So all you need to do to activate it is to right click live split and then click edit splits. And then in this window, under game name, type out a hat until you see a hat in time pop up in the drop down menu and click that and then click the activate button that appears right below your attempt counter. And then to get live split to sync with the in-game timer, simply right click live split and go under compare against and then click game time and that's all you have to do. Well that about covers everything you need. Links will be in the description in case you're having trouble finding anything mentioned in the video. If you have any questions about anything, you can ask in the comments below or in the Boop Troop Discord, and I'll try to do my best to answer them. Until then, have fun running!